take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me Hello and good morning, my beautiful Cove Queens. This is your daily card reading for Tuesday, May no, it is Monday. It is Monday. Happy Monday. It's a new week. Monday, May 2nd of this a beautiful month where our theme is mastering your own spiritual talents and gifts. If you are watching this and you are not one of my Cove Queens and Kings, that's totally okay. Please take what resonates from this video and leave the rest. So let's just get into it. I, because of how incredibly potent our workshop went on Sunday, I felt called to pull from the Work Your Light deck and then also a tarot deck. But considering the fact that everyone really found in a way their purpose and what they what gifts they needed to master let's see what the portal of your heart says as far as what practical actions you need to take today in order to make your dreams come to life we've got a lot of really interesting astrological energy we've got this uh uh, this Pluto in retrograde, which is really the underworld, bringing up that shadow work, bringing up things to the surface that maybe is ready to be healed at this point. So pay attention to some of the things that are coming up. We also are officially in Mercury retrograde pre-retro phase, which means that you might start hearing from your ex-boyfriends or girlfriends again. You might uh, start getting some miscommunication issues. You might have technology start to fits out uh, like my microphone did. Um, you might um, have travel issues when you're trying to coordinate travel. So there's nothing to freak out about. It's totally normal and fine. This is actually lighter than what it's going to be um, uh, when Mercury goes retrograde, which is going to be on May 10th. So if you want to mark that on your calendar, May 10th for two weeks, we've got that energy going. And plus we're right in the middle of eclipse season where major transformations are happening. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, so all that to say, things are happening really fast like really fast. So if you have been like, I'm impatient, I don't want to wait anymore. I've been working so hard. Like I just want to start to start have all the things now. Well, this is the month to get all the things. It is going to require some shadow work, but we will get through it. Uh, the cards that you got was the council of light, divine orchestration, helpers in the subtle realms. And I think this card is just your guides, your angels, the universe wants to remind you that you are actually being helped by the spirits that being, maybe. You may not see them helping you. You may not understand how they're helping you, but they are helping you get what you really want, which is, yes, all the things, right? Like the man, the money, the multi-million dollar empire, like being able to give back, make this world a better place. But really it's about that key part of the latter thing that I said, which is to make this world a better place, to really step fully into your soul's purpose. And that's why they really want you to master your talents and gifts this month so that you can really bring this into existence. But look how many people are helping you. So if you ever need to tune into them, just like get into a quiet place and be like, all right, God, angels, universe, council of light, spirits, that may be, show me how this gets better. Give me a sign great news needs to come to me today or within the next 24 hours. Um, help me make, bring this project off the ground. I need clarity. Bring me clarity. Whatever it is, whatever kind of evidence that you need in order to know that you're on the right path, just tell them, tell them what you want and they'll bring it to you. Uh, in probably a most unexpected way that you probably weren't even thinking about, <laughs> which is kind of exciting. So this is, this is what's great. If you needed a confirmation, if you needed a sign, this is it. You are having a spiritual awakening right now. Like what? Of course you knew this, but this is just confirmation that you are transforming. You are transcending. You are awakening and you are in fact leveling the F up. So 
just give yourself permission to nourish your physical body while the spiritual body is getting this massive upgrade. It takes a while for our physical body to actually em like embody and integrate everything that we're getting um, that we're getting spiritually. So nourish your body, nurture your body, ask your body what it needs today, right? Or even throughout the entire week. But what do you need? What do you need in order to get the work done that you need to get done? And then whatever it tells you to do, it might be take a nap. It might be eat more leafy greens. It might be pig out on junk food because we need all those extra calories to go and run this marathon. Everybody's body is different. So tune into your body and then give it what it needs. You'll, you'll literally thank me later because the upgrade will happen so much more seamlessly and flawlessly and not so traumatically, if that makes any sense. Because sometimes these spiritual awakenings can be really traumatic. Um, trust me from experience, I know. And then finally, yep, you guessed it, it's boundaries. Look at this. She's pushing people away. So it's this proverbial bubble. People are going to want to start to get your light, get your energy, get, you know, um, get what you give because of the fact that you are a light worker uh, and you're having this awakening and people can feel it and they want what you're drinking. You have to start learning how to say no. I'm going to read to you in the book what it says for those of you who are working on boundaries because this is one of the this is one of the best um, passages that I've read about boundaries ever, and it really made sense to me. So hopefully, it'll make sense to you. So here's what this card says. You are being called to create clearer boundaries in your life. This could be with your friends, family, or work. Saying yes when you really mean no leads to resentment, which is the biggest energy drain ever. At first, it might be only a little bit and not feel like a big deal, but before you know it, your energy field becomes porous and you are left feeling depleted, right? resentful, or even taken advantage of. Does anybody resonate with that? Because I sure did when I first read this. So listen, saying no and having clear boundaries is actually a spiritual act. Who would have thunk it? The most giving, loving, compassionate people are those with the clearest boundaries, not just the biggest boundaries, the boldest boundaries, the most badass boundaries, the whatever, the clearest clearest boundaries, right? For when they say yes, they are able to give unconditionally. Oh! When your boundaries are clear, others know where they stand and you are able to give freely, which is what you all want anyway. If you are not clear where your boundaries lie, this causes confusion, resentment, and energetic cords to be planted. And we do not need any of those anymore. If you are saying yes, when you really mean no, you are likely needing something yourself. Ah, aha, I'm going to read that again. If you are saying yes, when you really mean no, you are likely needing something yourself. Ask yourself, what part of me needs something from them? It could be a need for approval, a fear of being seen a certain way, or even a fear of loss. The best way to gauge your boundaries is to check in with your belly. Your belly is your second brain, AKA your gut, right? It has an intelligence known as your gut feelings. Tune into this space when deciding what is okay for you and what is not. How does it feel? What is it trying to communicate to you? So where in your life do you need to establish boundaries? I really want you to work on this this week. I know it's not necessarily a day thing, but just really think about this, especially as you are spiritually ascending and stepping into your purpose. Now for some tarot cards, just to kind of like give you some extras. And again, on the back, it was trust that niggle, trust that niggling feeling. So what is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? You know what you need to do. You just need to do it. I don't need to tell you. I know you know. I already know you know. Yep, you're rolling your eyes at me. Yep, you know. Uh, yep, it's 
fine. Just get it done because the sooner you get it done, <laughs> the faster that you can just move out of this energy. So, um, all right. So what, any last message, what practical action? I think that wasn't enough practical actions, but what else do they need to know today? Ooh, the monarch. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait a second. So, um, this is the intuitive night goddess deck, just in case you don't know what it is. Um, with this particular deck, because the guidebook is so sacred and lovely and very much channeling the divine feminine, I really usually only feel called to pull one or two cards from this deck just because it the messages are so potent and powerful. Okay, so the monarch is aka the emperor in traditional tarot, but this is what the guidebook says. This goddess is surrounded by butterflies. So if that's a sign for you, look at all those butterflies. Ah. Um, so she is surrounded by butterflies and a protective tiger. She holds the symbol of the Ankh tucked into her dress, representing life. So that's that uh, thing. Okay, yeah. Um, this card is both elements of fire and air. So what happens with fire when fire when air blows on fire? It gets bigger, right? This card is both uh, blah, blah, blah. the action that it. Uh, oh my gosh, this card is both elements of fire and air. The action that it takes to step into your true power and place of authority. And do we all not want to step into our true power? I'm just saying. Here you are finding ways in which you can shine in society and discover your true path. Oh my gosh, totally resonates with the other cards. Don't let anyone dampen the energy you are bringing towards your endeavors. Can we just say boundaries? I just don't know if I could have pulled a better card. Tap into the divine aspects of who you are. Again, tap into the divine aspects of who you are. This card can indicate a great transformation of self. I mean, do you see what I'm saying? All right. Shed the ideas of who you think you may be to embrace the greater beauty and power of your inner essence, okay? Shed the ideas of who you think you may be to ex embrace the greater beauty and power of your inner essence. Let go of your need to control a situation and allow it to develop organically. Let go of your need to control a situation and allow it to develop organically, what drives you? So these are questions, these last questions, I want you to write your answers in the uh, daily actions channel in the Discord server, or if you're watching this and you're not in the co, write your answers in the comments below. What drives you? What inspires you? What lights your fire? Those three questions, what inspires you? Oh, sorry. What, what drives you, what inspires you and what lights your fire? All right. So this is all about embracing your power. This is all about owning all that you are and really who you are at your soul's purpose, right? Get rid of all of those distractions. Don't let people take your power away, reclaim your power. And look, you are divinely directed with all those butterflies and protected with the tiger. I am shook it. So that is your card reading for today. I really hope that that helps. I'm very excited to hear what resonated and what didn't. Uh, if you are watching this and you are not in my spiritual support group, uh, you can click the link in the descriptions in order to join. This month, again, is the theme of mastering your spiritual talents and gifts. There is a replay of the first uh, Zoom that we had on Sunday. So if that's something that you'd like, then of course, please join. Um, and you can watch the replay. Oh, shoot. And I forgot just really quickly. I thought I haven't done this in a while. Um, let's just pick a charm. Let's pick a charm and a sticker. Charm. Oh, wow. It's a white heart. Look at that. It's a white heart. So what I get from this charm is like, you need to be pure of heart. White is technically divine masculine, but I hear purity. I hear unicorn. I hear come from a pure place and everything will be all right. This is really about owning your essence in the purest form. So do that. And then let's get you a sticker. Oh, look, it's so cute. 
the little octopus. So what I get from this is like, look, okay. An octopus technically has eight legs. I don't know why this one has five. Maybe it's just because of the drawing. But the point is, is that you have multiple appendages. You can do everything by yourself. You are very multi, uh, you are able to multitask. You can get a lot done on your own. Just remember that you are able to ask for help. You can ask your council of light if you would like some help. But this is really about discovering what is going to bring you some joy. That tickled pink feeling, um, being able to go and step into the flow of what your trajectory is. So once you actually come from a pure place of heart, then being able to then swim towards that with happiness, with contentedness, like look how cute and happy and excited. It's almost this pure childlike joy and innocence to be like, oh, that's where I want to go. That's how I feel. That's what I do. It's about that and using your legs. Again, I'm not, I'm going to say also like because there's only five legs and not however many an octopus actually has eight, I believe. Um, the number five, big changes, big transformations, like make sure to not get healthy competition, but not going like overly competitive. Don't compare, um, just focus on you, right? And just remember you are always able to ask for help when you need it. Okay, that is it. That makes more sense now. All right, I hope this helps. Have a wonderful, magical rest of your day. Like this video if this resonates. Subscribe to my channel so you're the first to see when new videos drop. And of course, always remember that in order for this awakening and all of these things to occur and having your, your counsel behind you in the easiest, fastest, funnest possible way, remember that success always starts by saying yes to you. You really are worthy and deserving of receiving everything that you've asked for and more. I love you so much and I'll see you all in the next video or if you're in the group, in the group. Mwah! So give me your all. I'll take it, I'll take it to my